Chris St. Alban here, and today I am going to quickly uh, go over how to record your own samples within Hylian 6. Um, the purpose of this video is to teach you guys how to take the samples you have, the VSTs, the plugins, and all the sounds you have, and get them into Hylian by recording them in Hylian, which is a bit different than just dragging samples you already pre recorded. And um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to take the Retrolog plugin and record it into Hylian. So um, one of the features that Hylian has is the ability to record samples itself. And we can then use this ability to sample our own plugins and create new libraries or different layers or um, different type of sounds within Hylian itself. Um, so I'm going to just showcase how to do this and it's really easy and um, hopefully you guys can take this run with it and create awesome things so the first thing i'm going to do is pull up retrolog now um in retrolog here i've created a very basic very simple um preset uh it's like a, a bell type of sound nothing nothing amazing nothing really to showcase here but um the preset's already done um, I just did it right before I started recording this. So this is a quick five second, 10, uh, I guess you could say uh, two minute preset. All right. And then um, I have Hylian here already. And um, within Hylian, I have a initialized program. And for those who don't know, uh, to initialize a program, you just grab a program and then initialize it. So nothing crazy there. So I have initialized program here. Um, I'm in the recording tab. For those who don't know, just hit low record and then take it over to the recording tab. So uh, that's how you would do that. Now to record one into the other, what you'll do is you'll go up to the sidechain input to get an input there. And you would select add a sidechain input. And then you'd pick the input for whatever the instrument is you want. And this one I'm picking Retrolog. So I have Retrolog here. I have it already active and then once that's complete you just turn on the actual sidechain function and you'll be able to hear one and you'll be able to see the activity meters of Hylian uh, light up when it has the proper input it's looking for so in this one um, when I press a key on my um, seaboard you'll be able to see um, Retrolog play it but also Hylian pick it up so as you can see Hylian's input is showing it um, you made to change your input to whatever you want it to be but there it is it's right there and um so when you sampling uh i think the easiest thing to do is to uh sample based off of a threshold so we have it set for a single sample but we're going to go to auto next so that it keeps recording new samples automatically right um and we're going to map it chromatically because I'm going to play it chromatically. And um, we don't need to fill in any gaps. So the start trigger, what I like to do is do auto threshold. And then we'll set the threshold at negative 30 decibels is fine. And then stop, we'll do auto threshold as well. So we'll say negative 50 for the auto threshold for stopping. And so um, now what I'll do is I'll hit the record button in Hylian. And then I once it sees that the retrolog triggers and goes above the 30 decibels, it'll record the key. And then when it goes the uh, below 50 decibels, it'll let go of the key. So I'm gonna just play chromatically. And um, I should mention that my seaboard at this moment is set to a fixed velocity. Um, I don't know if you'll have that when you do, you know, your sampling, but. Um, if you have the ability to do that, it helps out so that you can get a consistent level across whatever you're sampling. So for me, it's already uh, fixed at, a, I think, a velocity of 100. So um, when I play these keys, it'll be a consistent uh, velocity. So I'll go ahead and hit a key and then keep going up chromatically. I'll just do one octave. So here we go.
All right. And so that was the recording of the sample. We're done. And now just highlight Hollyon. Oh. Over. I don't know what this is. I got some sort of pop up. <laughs> Dismiss this. Get that out of here. So um, now I recorded it and I should be able to play it back. And let's see. Um, yeah, so there we go. Oh, I'm playing a bit of retrolog there. So it looks like I'm playing both <laughs> the synth zone here. Let's see. Actually, I think I can just remove this. Let's see. Look, I'm paying both. Oh, it looks like I'm not even in the layer. That seems to be the problem. Move that to the layer. So look, I'm playing both. So I should have fixed it there. So yeah. I'm now triggering the sample. Uh, in Hollyon, which I can edit from there and, you know, remap if I would, because you can actually map it. I haven't mapped anything, so there's that. But um, from there, you can, you know, fine-tune it or even record it a lot better than I just did. <laughs> but um, And you can even change the engine of the sample for the samples itself. So, you know, I could select them all and, let's say, apply some unison across them. So we'll crank up the voices, so we'll say five, an uneven number. All right. Um, it's playing pretty low, so let's go down here. Actually, let's get rid of these. So playing pretty low, so let's get take a headroom down. So as an example, just some things you can do. You can alternate that, get a little random uh panning um and whatever you want i mean it's just you can do much more amazing things than what i'm doing right now but that is the basic gist on how to record within hollyon um whenever you have your own uh, samples or sounds so the big thing is just activate the side chain input tell hollyon what input you want to utilize and then record from there so i hope you learned something from that um Hopefully it helps you out in your production or your sound design or whatever it is you're trying to do and uh, helps you get to the next level of whatever it is you're trying to reach. So that's all I really got. So Chris St. Alban, out.